up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with a video. And uh, a fellow YouTuber who I've talked about previously, obviously, uh, the Blacked Out Ewoks. And if you don't, if you're not a subscriber to his channel, do yourself a favor and subscribe. I I've learned so much by watching uh, that channel, Blacked Out Ewoks. I'll put a link in the description to this video below. Uh, but uh, he, he has forgotten more about Star Wars action figures than I'll ever know in my life. I mean, it's just incredible. And I've, I've mentioned this before, but, you know, when I was, uh, you know, first getting cleaned up, uh, I, you know, I decided to, uh, to, to really get into kind of doing YouTube videos. And, uh, you know, it's really thanks to a lot of the videos uh, by Blacked Out Ewoks uh, when I was kind of on the mend, so to speak. But, uh, you know, I, he he told me that he was going to be sending me uh, a gift box. And uh, I, I knew it was coming, and I was going to plan on doing an unboxing video live, and then I accidentally opened it, and my kids were kind of helping me with it So I, before I realized that it was the package from the Blacked Out Ewoks. So, unfortunately, I've already opened it. Uh, I had another I have another package that's due any, any day from the U.K., so, uh, unfortunately, I, I did already open it, but I wanted to show you guys what he was so nice enough to send me, uh, just kind of a, a mixed bag of all kinds of really cool stuff, and it was very, very much appreciated. It was way too generous. So, um, first, the, the, an interesting one is this coin. This is a uh, Peter Rabbit kind of 50-cent piece uh, over, uh, for, you know, made in 2018, as you can see there, but these are highly collectible, apparently. Uh, I'd never heard of them before, but it's got Peter Rabbit there on uh, on the on one side, and then uh, God Save the Queen on the other. And uh, uh, the interesting thing is, my son is a massive collector of foreign currency. I don't know what his plan is. I don't know if he's planning on becoming an international arms dealer or an international cocaine dealer. But you know, and, he, and he's collecting all this different currency so he can make change really easily for these transactions. I don't know what the deal is, but he's got currency from all over the world, and uh, uh, so I, you know, if it's okay with the blacked out Ewoks, I'm going to give this to him for his uh, collection. He has got coins from just literally India and, I mean, all over the place, and uh, and so I, I showed him this, and he was very excited about it. So uh, this will go into his currency collection. So in 20 years, when he's selling AK-47s to some, you know, North Korean. He can make he can make change in in whatever different currency he'd like to, so that was the first thing he sent. Uh, the next thing he sent, I'm going to move some of these items over here, but you know if you if you're not a subscriber to his channel, he's also quite the artist, and so he sent me uh, one of his original pieces of art. It's you know it's fruit in a bowl. I guess they're mangoes or or something, but it's just a beautiful uh, piece, and I, I'm actually going to hang it uh, next to all my different Star Wars stuff. So it was a very thoughtful. Uh, piece that he sent me and it's just gorgeous. It's already laminated So I'll probably frame it and put it next to next to all my Star Wars figures uh, just as a, as, a, as a nice reminder that uh, You know this community is is it can be as close-knit as you want it to be and I know that I've made a ton of awesome friends uh, Since I started this channel and uh, and he certainly tops on my list. So uh, thank you very much for for the art and uh so I'm excited about that. And then, uh, let's see, next we got uh, this. You know, I don't know why on earth you sent this to me. That was way too generous. But this is a uh, cut card of uh, Gamorrean Guard. And, you know, as you know, I'm a huge collector of these uh, Gamorrean Guards. And this is actually a Made in Mexico cut card. So you can see the hole there uh, where the of is on, on the back of this card. And uh, so this is a... Uh, a made in Mexico, Lily Letty, uh, Good Morning Guard, uh, still on the on the cut card. So, the interesting thing is that uh, CAS Collector Archive Services does grade cut cards. Uh, they're the only, to my knowledge, they're the only grading company that that right now is still doing is doing that. So, I'm gonna send this one in in my next batch whenever I get some money together, and this will be my first cut card graded piece. But they. They frame it all uh, still in the uh, you know in the in the cut card and it looks really cool. I've got several friends who have who have done that, so uh, very much appreciated. I've I've got a pretty big 
uh, loose graded collection of, of Good Morning Guards, and this will d definitely be a nice addition. So thank you very much for that. Uh, next we got, this is really cool. This is a graded uh, Action Force figure. And I never, I, I do not have any Action Force figures, so this is my first one. And let's go ahead and show the label on it. Uh, this is a 1983 Palatoy Action Man loose action figure, no country of origin, SAS pilot, and it's a U85. And so he's he's a really cool looking figure. You know, it's got this yellow kind of life preserver uh, that I assume wraps around his neck uh, and kind of can be wrapped around him to make it look like he's... Um, you know, uh, got a flotation device. I, I guess that's what that is. And then uh, it's also got kind of a, uh, a briefcase to, or communications device there. And then I think it's also got a pistol right here, if I can get it to fire. There it is. There's this pistol, sidearm. Not, uh, I guess that's a 1911 Colt. And then um, and then here's the figure. He's just an awesome figure. I mean, look how cool he looks. Uh, got the stealth black outfit, so he's kind of like a halo jumper, I guess. I mean, maybe that's a parachute instead of a life preserver. I don't know. But really, it's just an awesome figure, and uh, I, I did not have any uh, Action Force figures, believe it or not. I was going to be adding some, and I just never got around to it. So this is a really cool, a really cool graded uh, figure. So thank you very much for that. And then finally, good lord, I don't know why on earth you would ever get rid of this beautiful thing. But I remember when you bought this uh, Black Dot U Box. This is a 1997 uh, Power of the Force 2 freeze frame Zuckus. And he is absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely one of the best Power of the Force 2 figures, uh, in my mind, uh, of the line. I mean, it's just got so much detail to him. And uh, you can see there, I don't know if I can get it to zoom properly or not, but it's got the freeze frame of when, on the Empire Strikes Back, where there's a scene where it shows all of the different bounty hunters all lined up. Um, the, the picture is also on the back of the card, so I'll show that in a second. But that's... That's the uh, freeze frame there, and it says Zuckus, the ga Gand uh, bounty hunter, waits for instructions from Darth Vader. But look at that figure. I mean, that is just an absolutely gorgeous figure. It's got so much detail to the cloth cape. Uh, you know, I'm, I assume it's plastic, but, you know, the, the cape originally was cloth. And um, it's just a great mold. I mean, just an absolutely gorgeous mold. And then here's the label on it, 1997 Kenner Star Wars, Power of the Force 2 freeze frame Zuckus. Uh, the card got an 85, the blister got a 90, and the figure got a 90, and it's an 85 near mint plus. So just an absolutely very, way too generous of a gift. And, uh, uh, it, it, you know, I've got a pretty decent Power of the Force 2 graded collection, and this will fit just fit in just perfectly with it. Uh, and I've got my ungraded, carded Return of the Jedi here, so you can see what the vintage figure looks like. Obviously, he was mislabeled Forlom. I always mix them up. I call them Forlom and Zuckus, Zuckus and Forlom. But yeah, the vintage figure was incorrectly called Forlom. Uh, but you can see what the vintage figure looks like uh, next to uh, uh, next to the the Power of the Force two line. So a very very cool figure. And uh, and here's the back of the card. This is this is the photo that is on the uh, on the freeze frame uh, piece there. And uh, so, just a just a really really cool graded piece that I'm 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 very excited to have in my collection. So you can see Zuckus right there. That's supposed to be Forlom. So they got the names mixed up in the vintage line. And uh, but there they are. It's even got Bosk hanging out right there, one of my favorites. And uh, you can see the rest of the um, of the back of the card there. But just a really really nice. It's a U.S. card and uh, just a really very generous gift and. Uh, I can't say thank you enough, but um, uh, you know, I, like I said, this this is the reason I do I do these videos and have a channel now. Is I've just met so you know all my local friends. They think I'm a loser. All right, they think I'm a total loser. I'm like the 40 year old virgin that movie with Steve Carell that they, they think I you know I need to get a life. But there's other people out there like me. Thank God uh, that uh, have a passion for. Uh, action figures, uh, you know, specifically graded action figures. I just, I love, I love the hobby, and uh, you know, it's just, just a really fun hobby. And I've, I've met so many cool people, both on Facebook and through YouTube. So, um, but this is just a, a, an awesome, awesome uh, set of gifts that uh, you were, you were very kind enough to get me. But I'll put a link to Blacked Out Ewoks' uh, channel in the description. And if you're not a, a subscriber, uh, do yourself a favor and do it because he has got just an absolutely amazing collection of foreign cards, Kenner cards, loose figures. I mean, it's just, and it's not just Star Wars. It's 
Yeah, he's got uh, you know all, all kinds of figures from all kinds of different vintage to toy lines and modern. He, he's he's got a, a beautiful modern collection of, of Star Wars figures as well. Uh, and you know when I see a lot of these figures that he's had in storage. Uh, that he pulls back out, and my my mouth just waters and, and jaw drops. I mean, he's just got just unbelievable stuff. So, uh, anyway, thank you again so much uh, to the Blacked Out Ewoks for these awesome gifts, and uh, I look forward to uh, staying in touch over the years here. And uh, I've got uh, a few items that should be arriving any day now. It's kind of like my final, you know, send off. The last stuff I'm, I swear, it's the last stuff I'm purchasing the rest of the year, and you'll see why when they come in. It's just some absolutely amazing uh, UKG graded and CAS graded items that I, I, I purchased kind of in bulk from a collector who was kind of getting out of the hobby. And uh, so they should be here t tomorrow or the next day, and I look forward to showing them to you. But uh, anyway, thank you again so much to the Blacked Out Ewoks, and I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon.